Okay, so uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. A weekly general tarot reading, uh, April 13th to April 19th, 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, from which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you are interested into learning tarot cards and you like the way I do it, the way I read uh, the cards, you can sign up for my online live tarot classes uh, in which in the very first uh, beginner's course, uh, beginner's course, oh my god, I am going to um, teach you hopefully how to learn, uh, how to read the major arcana in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a negative way, in a positive way as well, and in generally how they stand into the dedicated spread I chose and that I use primarily for my private readings as well. So hopefully at the end, when you finish that course, uh, you are set to go and do your own readings. So that being set aside, moving to the... Uh, weekly reading the first one which stands for the topic of your week that is to be the two of swords and then we do have the energies which is feeding and supporting the topic here that is to be the full card followed by the third one which stands as the um, challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month that will be the four of pentacles afterwards is going to be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week that is to be the gift and the blessing of the ace of cups Followed by the uh, impression that you are leaving into the people around, that will be the hangman. And the last one, which is the guidance, probably the most important one in this reading, that will be the tree of pentacles. All right, so it's a pretty straightforward reading. Uh, now, throughout this uh, week, Aquarius, uh, you are going to have a major, very, very important, um, I would say, decision to make where to go from now on. Uh, that is uh, described here by those couple of cards, so we do have the energies and then that leads to a, a specific situation. So what the energies are presenting to you is a, um, a, a, we can't say to the full any way around, but a brand new beginning. Now, what is, however, the beginning of the full? Like said, a brand new, which is a, a brand new experience. We are not talking about reconciliation. We are not talking about getting back at your job we're talking about either new relationship new job new enterprises new 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 anything new okay uh now however it will seem like it is a, a long shot at least at the start because what is uh, very common with the fall it is that yes we do have right now um or throughout the week you are to have um the idea what you want to do where you want to be whom, you're, whom you want to be with or what kind of a job you want to work. And by the energies, that is very, very accomplishable, okay? The question and the problem, how? Okay, so how I am to accomplish that? That will be the main problem that you are to face throughout the week. Not is it going to happen or not, but how I can make it happen. And that leads us to the situation itself, which is the situation of the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords points that you are to stand in front of, um, uh, there is no other way to say it, but a, a dilemma, baffling. What should I do? Should I do this in order to accomplish my goal or should I do that to accomplish my goal? Because either option that will stand in front of you at least throughout the week is going to be anybody's guess. What I mean is that is it going to be efficient or not yet remains to be seen. I mean, nobody can tell you. Um, is it going to be, uh, how can I say it? Is it going to produce the results that you are expect expecting or not? And therefore, uh, the situation points that you may do some wrong moves and some wrong um, actions and take some wrong decisions if you um, rush in and, and if you try to bruise yourself on the situation, on this new beginning and just hecting, hectingly try to perform into it without considering every point of view or in this case, every potential option available. So the Two of Swords here points that this week, while you are going to have your opening and while now a, a new, brand new perspective is opening uh, in front of you, 
and it's very accomplishable and you can all, almost taste it, you know, almost can smell it. The times are not a where you rush it, like I said, but instead it's important for you to wait. Um, we do have a bench into the Two of Swords over here, okay? And the benches in Tarot are a symbol of inactivity, complete standstill. Why, however, with the Two of Swords, that is the standstill? For a couple of reasons. First, you have to, uh, before you decide what exactly you have to do, you got to consider all points of view, or in this case, every option available that you do have. And uh, you are to find out that there are many options available, how you are to, for example, and throw the person you want to be with, how to improve your marriage, how to get the job you want, and etc., etc. So which one, okay? Well, with the Two of Swords, uh, the obvious, uh, the, the right choice becomes obvious through uh, elimination. So that's why you gotta wait. So the options available eliminate themselves on their own accord by becoming inaccessible, unavailable, uh, by not um, standing uh, true to themselves if that these are people. And finally, you are gonna be left with, with, un with one, only one way of moving forward and that is the right way for you moving forward. So that is why that week is important that you should like said, you should not give yourself to the temptation to rush it and do whatever. Just so think that you are uh, consolidating this brand new beginning of yours. But instead, stand still and wait as the options available to you how to reach the very accessible and accomplishable destination starts to fall down like uh, like targets, if you will. And at the end, only one is going to stand in front of you. That is the right one to take. So uh, that being said, moving to the next one here, Aquarius, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. That is the challenge of the Four of Pentacles. Pretty obvious uh, into this uh, narrative. You need to, it will be difficult for you or challenging for you to maintain the perspective that your future is secure. Okay, so as you start seeing that the options available are falling down, they become inaccessible, you may start thinking that you are running out of time, therefore you don't have a, a secured future, right? But that's not true. Like we said with the, with the Two of Swords, everything lingers into an equilibrium, very precious equilibrium, and now you have to just maintain it by doing nothing. You, you should not I don't know what kind of example should I give you um, that you are transferring a feather from one side of the of the scales of the balance to the other and just that tiny weight of the feather is tipping the scales into one or another uh, direction and you are doing it while you have to leave the uh, the time and the, the the universe to do it for you with uh, with the two of swords and while you're waiting that process to to happen like said it will be very difficult for you to maintain the perspective that your future is secured okay it is secured it is there for you it just uh, the problem is how to get there and this way of how to get there it will be presented to you probably by the end of the week by having just only one option available and uh, if i have to think about an example of it say that you are now talking with a lot of people there are say four a uh, suitors that you really like but you can't decide exactly which one stands out in front of others and you know that this you will have or you see that a brand new relationship is very accomplishable, but how, you know, which one? That's the problem and you can't decide. So if you are impatient for a new relationship, you just gamble on it, okay? While what you have to do is to wait long enough so three of them lose this interest into you and only one stands and that is your obvious, um, your obvious choice that you gotta make, just let me. Um, muffle the voice of uh, the sound of my uh, PC. Um, and while you're waiting and seeing how people are losing interest into you, or three of these people, then you may start thinking that you are running out of time. Well, that's not true. And uh, th this situation can uh, manifest in every field of your life. I'm just giving you an example with relationship because it's the easiest one. So moving next, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy here. That is going to be the gift and the blessing of the Ace of uh, Cups. 
So Ace of Cups transcends one reality into a overflowing joy. That is the gift and the blessing. So uh, it does point that there are to be many activities and enterprises. Well, maybe not many, but at least one that is going to sprawl you with happiness. It will fulfill you with uh, it will fill you up with the happiness and you can enjoy the gift and the blessing of love in, in its general sense. What I mean it is that uh, you are to enjoy uh, loving your career, you are to enjoy uh, loving your relationship life. It is just you are going to love the life itself that is going to happen throughout this week. But in a more practical uh, manner, the Ace of Cups signifies uh, a surprising events that are pretty much making your current worries or things that you're worrying over are completely irrelevant because they because it seems because now you have the idea that you do have future for example you're worried about your relationship life because you're single well now you do have like said for example for suitors and you know that you're going to end up with a relationship it is just that nagging feeling that you are running out of time to do so it will be the challenge for you there but uh, you are going to be definitely happy and exhilarated that you do have a four suitors or people wants to be with you right it's just as an, an example once again so uh what kind of a impression are the people around you are going to have we do have the impression of the hangman uh, so people are going to be very in tune with your situation. Uh, they will see that you in front of you, there is no, there, there isn't any right or wrong decision. As a matter of fact, if you do make your move, you can only make it wrong. Okay. And that's why you got to wait. So the move can be made on its own accord. That is what it's, uh, it's very appropriate for the hangman. The hangman does not require action. The hangman says that you through inaction, the right way for you is open. It's just the car preaches that the skies darken are going to be set into light again on their own accord. And the only thing you got to do there is just wait. Okay, so people are going to see you or the impression that you're going to leave into the people. It is that the right way of executing the new life of yours is anybody's guess. And that's why you're waiting to see which one is true to itself. And it is the right one for you. And therefore, people will understand you while you are inactive throughout this time. People will see that and understand that that is a test, an ordeal that you are going through. And so we are reaching the guidance of uh, the uh, of the spread, the guidance card. That is the Tree of Pentacles. So uh, with the Tree of Pentacles, uh, like we said, the people, they are also going to support you through this um, time of hardship. And it's not really a time of hardship. It's more like a time, time with a nagging sense of insecurity. And uh, that being said, the guidance here is to allow those people to help you with it. I mean to maintain your positive outlook and your positive expectations as well and to diminish the sense that you are running out of time um, and you have to listen to them. This is what I'm trying to say. You you, you got to allow them to help you through and to support you through a uh, your development. Uh, also, the card points, which is completely irrelevant uh, or not connected with the uh, with the main situation of the week. The card points that you are to face some guidance and advice, how you are to improve on your current life, that is. It will be a bit harsh. It will sound almost like criticism, but it is going to be true. And it will be a good thing if you make a note out of it. So Aquarius, it looks like quite a positive week for you guys. A brand new beginnings and uh, things that uh, you are going to really look forward to. The question once again is how they are to manifest and for you, luckily, that decision is going to be made for you, but you got to wait it out. OK, you got to show patience and you should not give yourself away to the um, deteriorating or a disintegrating um, feeling that you are running out of time. Uh, yeah, so uh, that was your weekly tarot reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you uh, want to learn how to read tarot cards or you want to improve your knowledge on it and you like the way I do it, you want to read the same way, I'm offering an online live tarot classes um, which are covering all the major arcanas for now and uh, 
In them, I'm going to explain you uh, the all major arcanas, obviously, how they stand in terms of career, in terms of relationship, as well, how they stand into the negative and the positive position in my dedicated spread that I use, not just only for the class, but also in the majority of my private readings. And it's also a friendly spread for reading just with only major arcana. So at the end of the course, you are set to go and do your own readings. And... Uh, Stay safe now and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.